What's up you guys, Joseph here. So right now we're on our way to pick up Will from the airport. Um, a couple weeks ago he dropped off his Ferrari F12 to Briggs Brothers to get the interior redone. Uh, when he purchased it, the interior was all black and uh, he wants to go with the red look, which I think is gonna look killer. So some last minute plans, Will was supposed to have the Ferrari shipped to uh, Ohio where he's from, um, but I guess some plans fell through. So he decided to fly out to Chicago and actually drive the uh, F12 back to Ohio. So we're on our way now to the airport to pick him up. And uh, stay tuned so we can check out this new uh, Ferrari. Also, once you guys see the transformation of the Ferrari, let me know in the comment section down below. Did you guys like the black interior or do you like the red interiors? Comment down below. Let's see what you guys think. All right, so for those of you that have not been to downtown Chicago, we are on Lakeshore Drive right now and we're heading towards the city. As you guys can see, that is the beautiful Chicago skyline. That is the iconic Sears Tower. Now, I know you guys are going to say it's the Willis Tower and I don't even know what tower it is right now, but to true Chicagoans, it'll always be the Sears Tower. And there it is. What is it even called anymore? Is it still the Sears Tower? If you guys know, let me know in the comments section down below, but here's a good shot of it right now. Look how big that thing is. All right, so it wouldn't be a true trip to downtown Chicago if you didn't run, to it, run into a little bit of traffic. Ugh. This sucks. Let's see if we can uh, sneak out of here. Right there is Navy Pier. And uh, fun fact, I actually proposed to my wife on that Ferris wheel right there. Um, that's not the exact Ferris wheel. Like a month after I proposed, the geniuses in Chicago decided to tear down the original Ferris wheel and replace it with this one. But uh, that's exactly where uh, I proposed to my wife. So check out how close the lake is to the actual Lakeshore Drive. Um, sometimes when we get really heavy rains, Lakeshore Drive actually floods. Um, so down there is the is Lake Michigan and when it rains the rain actually comes on to Lakeshore Drive and they sometimes have to shut it down and no traffic is allowed through at any time. Also in today's video we're going to try and get a couple waves from Jeeps because as you guys know I'm the nicest Jeep owner and nobody ever waves back to me. So I'll be sure to get one at, at least one for you guys in today's video so make sure you smash that thumbs up button for uh, Jeep waves. Ah, I couldn't get it on camera but there's one van, I don't know if you guys could see it in my mirror. There was one van that was pulled over with the emergency lights on causing all that traffic. But now it looks like we should be good to go. Also, another fun fact, if I'm not mistaken, my brother-in-law proposed to my sister in this building as well. A little fun fact, a lot of uh, proposals happened within a mile of each other, uh, which is pretty cool, I think. But uh, guys, we're on our way to pick up Will from the airport right now. His flight arrives at 12. 05 and we're gonna get there at 12 so just enough time to get there and uh, find will so let's go I absolutely love driving this Jeep I feel like I can run over these cars that are driving next to us this thing's an absolute monster I can't imagine it with a lift kit and some bigger tires forget it my brother-in-law actually my brother-in-law and my sister actually purchased me a new bumper for it they uh, saw my video and heard me complaining about uh, how the Rubicon came with a plastic bumper which I think is kind of a ripoff you paid over 60 grand for a car and it comes with a plastic uh, front bumper which I thought is pretty ridiculous but uh, they hooked it up they bought me a new bumper and uh, I'm gonna be installing that here soon and I told him he got himself into trouble because now he's got to help me install it which uh, will be pretty fun but it looks sweet it, it comes with uh, lights as well as a spot to hook up a winch so I really want to do that and uh, see how it transforms the car. Also another Chicago landmark, this is Soldier Field. This is where the Chicago Bears uh, act like they play football every week. It's a really nice stadium, too bad uh, they suck. Uh, no guys, I'm a Packers fan, uh, don't unsubscribe, I'm a Packers fan. But uh, honestly I haven't been keeping up with football at all any sports actually with this whole pandemic and work and family and all that kind of thing I've had zero time to keep up with sports uh, but yeah, that is where the Chicago Bears play I've actually been to Soldier Field it's a beautiful stadium so uh, 
Yeah, nothing, no hard feelings against the, uh, any Bears fans. I don't know if you guys can hear through the camera how loud it is, but it's like super windy today. And uh, the Jeep windshield and the Jeep all together uh, is not the most aerodynamic car. It feels like I'm driving a block of cheese through the wind. But yeah, it's just super loud in here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. All right, y'all, so we just got to the uh, airport. There it is. I've actually never been to this airport. This is uh, called Midway International Airport. We usually always fly out of, That's in and out of um, O'Hare. Always fly in and out of O'Hare International, but uh, I've never been here. It's kind of far south, but uh, yeah, this is where he flew into, so let's find Will. Yo, so you can feel that there's a plane right behind this wall. You just hear when you can like feel it in your chest. That was crazy. That's the thing about video. You can't, audio is really hard to uh, convey in video. All right, so right off the bat, I noticed this airport's a lot smaller than O'Hare. Don't know if I'm mistaken or not, but this looks like it has one terminal. This is it. All right, and just like that, there he is. Mr. Will Motivation. What's up, sir? What's up, Will? Joseph Marcus right there. Yo, yo. All right, guys, so it's super windy here, but we just got to this place. We're eating at Los Das. Picked up Will from the uh, airport. Thank you. And uh, unfortunately, because of COVID, we can't eat inside, so we're having a picnic on the uh, back of the Jeep. We got Will here. Thanks for lunch. Of course, dude. Thanks for picking me up. Of course. So uh, we're gonna have some lunch and then go pick up the Ferrari and check out the new guts. All right, so we just finished up our little picnic uh, at the back of the Jeep. Thanks again to Will uh, for buying lunch. Um, but yeah, guys, now we're gonna head over to Riggs Brothers to check out the uh, new Ferrari, so let's go. So we just finished up lunch. We are at Riggs Brothers. Will's gonna pick up the Ferrari F12. I'm super excited to show you guys the interior of this thing. When he first picked it up, it was all black on the inside. Uh, the car is black, so he wanted to switch it up and go with a red interior, which I think is a killer idea. Um, so yeah, he's uh, over there doing his thing. Look at this GT. What do you guys think about this wrap? It's got like a camo wrap on it. I kind of like it. I dig it. I like that camo look. They did a good job on this car. It needs a wash, but they did a good job. This is what I like right here. Black Model 3. Thing is sick. They have the windows tinted in the back. I'm actually planning on tinting the uh, windows on my mom's Model 3 soon, so if you guys uh, are interested in Tesla content, let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, they got Super in here. Yeah. Yeah, man. You think you guys are ready? <laughs> sure. Yeah, ready. How are you doing? Good. Hey, how's it going? So, are you flying or driving? I, I flew in. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, so, thanks to Mark and Joseph for picking me up. Yeah, sure. Um, but if you got stuff to do, I'm, so, I'm, you know, I can hang out. And well, we, we are done. We okay. are done. Yeah, we finished it before lunchtime. Filled up on some carne asada. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. All right, cool. So, you, I can... I can pay and stuff for real. Check it out. You gotta make sure you All like right, it before, it, right? okay? Yeah. So let me. Whichever one. You wanna settle up now or later? Go ahead. We'll, we'll go ahead and do the review. Cool. Okay, so I'm here with. I'm recording. Okay, so I'm here with Kevin Riggs, who is actually in charge of yes, taking care of the Ferrari F12. So we are about to do the, the quick reveal. It's, yep. it's, we're, we're ready? We are ready to go. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna follow Kevin and then we'll check out the interior and then he can tell us kind of about the install and everything. Right this way. So this was a, a fun one. You just picked up this new Gold Coast, which we do a lot of work for. Um, one of the higher end dealers around here. They trust us with all their work. We'll pick this up and we'll get the full of basic for them. All black. Nothing wrong with that, but kind of non custom, and that's where brands like Touch come in. Where you put your personal touch on. Um, so you remember from the previous videos, all black. Now we have Ferrari Rosso Red, 
As original. So stitch for stitch, everything is identical. We've got the center console armrest and the entire, the complete back panel. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got the Ferrari uh, <laughs> black color embroidery up on the headrest. Horses. <laughs> Yo, this is so sick, dude. Right on the body, man. Dang, that looks better than I thought. Dude, good job, man. We aim to please. We aim to please. <laughs> yeah, this is. It's okay if I go to the other side. Oh my gosh, yeah. All right, guys. Nicer than I even imagined. So it's this time of year in the winter we do a lot of restoration kind of work. And we got that old... Um, Look at this beast. Uh, only 25 ever made in that color. And we really just kind of narrow it. We just need to work out to the original owner of it. I'm just excited. I'm just excited to get the cold start on this beast. It looks like they haven't started in a while. They have it on the battery tender, so I can't wait to get this uh, cold start up for you guys. So we're delicately removing it all. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of work on that. But, um, I can't keep my eyes open. <laughs> airplane interiors, oh, wow. full boat interiors. Our St. Charles location, which is about 30 minutes from here. They're right next to a, a regional airport. And, How many locations uh, do you have? We have four. Four yeah, locations. Four locations, in Chicago, all right here in the west suburbs of Chicago. Okay. This is our, our 75th year in business. Um, so my great grandfather started the company in 1945, and um, I'm the, the first in the fourth generation. Wow. So yeah, my, congratulations. Yeah, for it. it's it's a fun fun thing to be part of, and uh, to be blessed to be part of, and you know it's a lot of blood blood sweat and tears who went into to creating this company to what it's been and. You know, we're the largest of our kind in the country, of, of just a, a trim shop, an automotive trim shop. And yeah, because I've never four. seen anything like this in, in Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna get a cold start up on this uh, Ferrari F12. It looks like it's been sitting for a couple days. They had it on the battery tender, so it just sounds absolutely nuts. Let's go. Oh, look, my, <laughs> my, my plates expire tomorrow. <laughs> Better hurry up. Come on, Chris. You could have gave me a two month blink. Chris, my Perfect place expired on the 24th. So my car is expired on Christmas, man. Come on. <laughs> there it is. The heart of the beast. Ferrari F12. Look at that horse, man. That horse is stupid. Can you get any faster now, Red Seats? I think a little faster. <laughs> I think sounds like a beast. Pretty. Dang. That thing is pretty, buddy. 
Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, man? Was it was, man, it, was it the right move? Good choice on the interior. Good choice on the car. That thing sounds like a beast. Thank you, bro. Thank man, you. Man, congrats, bro. Oh man. So now we've got to head out of um, Chicago. We're gonna make a pit stop to check out my buddy, Doctor. Well, we'll just call him Doctor SV. <laughs> Dr. SV, we're gonna check out Dr. SV on the way home. I'm gonna show him the um, the F12. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that next video. But I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions in the car with the red, the red seats. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Yo, so if you guys didn't see, Will actually sold the Aventador and replaced it with the uh, Ferrari F12. So make sure you guys tune into his channel to get some more uh, content on the F12. Screaming. There it is guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope Will gets home safely. Make sure you guys tune into his channel to check out more content with this beast. Drive home safe. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video.